To do so, let us calculate first the integral of 3x squared multiplied by the cosine of x cubed plus 5. Now, notice that 3x squared is exactly the derivative of x cubed plus 5. This will come into play in a big way. Indeed, the integration by substitution is a method that we use when we want to integrate something. That is, a function f, whose integral we know, composed with another function g and the whole thing multiplied by the derivative of g of x. Now, this sounds complicated, but bear with us. What we do is we write u in terms of g of x, and doing so, we can rewrite the integral in terms of u and du. Lo and behold, this gives us the very simple expression, integral of f of u du. And because we know how to integrate f, we just get its antiderivative as a function of u plus the additive constant c, which appears because we're doing an indefinite integral. Now, we're not done because we want to express our answer in terms of the original variable x, and so we replace u by g of x to obtain our final answer. Now, let's look at this step by step and with our case in mind. Our first step will be to rearrange the integral to the form f of g of x times g prime of x dx and to determine g of x and g prime of x. In our case, we first reorder it. We are going to put the 3x square times dx at the end because, as we'll see later, this is exactly du. Then, of course, we recognize that x cubed plus 5 is our best candidate for g of x, in part because, well, 3x squared is its derivative and therefore the ideal candidate for g prime of x. Second, we want to write u in terms of g of x, determine the derivative of u with respect to x, and write du in terms of dx and x itself. So what do we have? We have u equals to x cubed plus 5. This means that the derivative of u with respect to x is going to be given by 3x squared. This then allows us to write du as the product of du by dx and dx, which in this case is 3x squared times dx. For our next step, we have to, of course, rewrite the integral in terms of u and du. We do so and we obtain cosine of u times du. We can now integrate the cosine of u, and this simply gives us sine of u plus c. Finally, we must replace u by g of x. Doing so, we obtain, as our final answer, the sine of x cubed plus 5, and then this whole thing plus c. So we wanted to calculate the integral of 3x squared times the cosine of x cubed plus 5. What we did was to take u as x cubed plus 5 and wrote du in terms of dx and x. What we obtained was that du, which is equal to du over dx times dx, was equal to 3x squared times dx. We then were able to write the integral in terms of u and du and compute it. What we obtained in terms of u and du was the integral of cosine of u times du, which of course yields sine of u plus c. Again, the plus c is there because we're doing an indefinite integral. As a final step, we must replace u by the function we wrote it as in the first place. We substitute u by x cubed plus 5 for our final answer the sine of x cubed plus 5 plus c. Now that you've learned how to compute an indefinite integral using the substitution method, you can test your knowledge by doing the homework question linked in the description box below. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you again soon in another Bolster Academy Explains video.